Hey there guys, Trogdor here again, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a pop-up crafting table, or chest in this case, because I like using the chest. But the concept's the same for both. Uh, you can use whatever you want in this. Anyways, the old hidden crafting table I had didn't come up off the ground. It was just in the ground, so it would be flush with the floor. Uh, a lot of people wanted something that actually popped up, so this one actually does that. So if I press this button, our floor gets retracted and our chest gets popped up. Uh, this right here is your input. So that, does, that means the button doesn't have to be here you can put the button wherever or use whatever kind of input you want into this and move it wherever so this would be completely hidden from sight so in this case it's a hidden chest so you can hide your cool stuff in there um it's fairly compact too it's a uh, four by three by six uh, there's still quite a bit of air blocks in here and I could probably make it smaller but I was building other things too so yeah anyways guys that's pretty much all I want to say on it so let's get on with the tutorial okay guys so let's get on with this tutorial to start off we're going to need a four by six area and your floor will be four from that floor. So one, two, three, four. That is where your floor will be right there. Uh, so I'm going to do this really quick. So if you need to, just pause the video and copy what I'm doing. Anyways, we're going to start off from this corner. This will be the front. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way this thing's orientated though. But this will be the front for this tutorial. We're going to come to this corner and go up three. So three. And then over three. One, two, three. Right there. Then we're going to place a sticky piston on that block. And then a sticky piston on top of that. Then we're going to come out two from that and place a regular piston right there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So two regular piston right there. Next we're going to make the double piston extender so I'm going to place a block on the bottom sticky piston. This is on the back side. We're going to place a redstone torch on the side of that block. A block on top of that redstone torch. Redstone torch on the side of that block. And then this block right here will be your floor block. So whatever you want that to be uh, the only thing it has to be is a full block, so it has to be able to use uh, power. Then we're going to go ahead and place a chest right there. This can be a crafting table, etc., etc., whatever you want this to be. As long as it's movable, it's fine. So let's finish the rest of the double piston extender. Go place a block right there with redstone dust there and there. And we're going to take repeaters and place them right here, here, and here. And we're going to place all of those on four ticks delay, so full delay. Then we're going to place a block right there and a block right there with redstone dust right there. And that's the double piston extender. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is do the T flip flop. I'm going to just get rid of this to make things a little bit easier. Uh, the T flip flop is going to be up here in this corner. So we'll place a temporary block right there with a dropper on top of that and then a dropper. If I can do it. Here, let's uh uh, do this drop around the top of that facing this way 
and then we're going to place a hopper going into the bottom dropper. We'll go ahead and place an item into that bottom dropper. And then we're going to place a comparator on top of that hopper. And that's the T flip flop. Next we're going to get rid of these blocks temporarily. We're going to come to this hopper and we're going to place an observer on that hopper facing down. So this little part has to be facing down. We can go ahead and replace that block. Then we're going to make the uh, pulse extender for our double piston extender. So this double piston extender we want to be on by default. So to do that we're going to place a block right there. That's right underneath that sticky piston for reference. Place a torch right there and a dust right there. And it should extend. Now we're going to hook up our uh, pulse extender right to this. So we're going to place a comparator going into that block and then a comparator facing this way. We're going to take redstone dust and place it here, here, and here. That's the pulse extender. And we need to hook that up to this. So we're going to place a dust here and a repeater right there on two ticks delay. Next thing we're going to do is hook up these two pistons right here to the T flip flop and we're going to place blocks right here. And then a block up there. We'll get rid of that right now. Then we're going to place repeaters like that. All of them on four ticks delay. So three of them on four ticks delay going into this block. And we're going to place two blocks like that two repeaters on those on four ticks each so all five of these repeaters are on four ticks go place a block in front of that last repeater and then we're going to place a torch on the side of that block and you'll see that piston extend and we're going to place blocks here here and then right there Go ahead and take redstone dust and place it right there. A repeater right there. Uh, just on one tick. And then a torch right there. And that should be everything to this pop up crafting table. Or chest in this case. So to test this out, I'm going to just put a button right here. And this is your input right here, guys, this top dropper. So just keep that in mind. And let's test it out. So if I press it, it pulls it down, and it only goes up right there. So if I place, let's just place some blocks around it. Like that. There we go. So that, that would be our floor right there. Press it again. And the chest comes up out of the ground. So it's not flush with the ground anymore. So yeah. That is the tutorial on this pop-up crafting table slash chest. Uh, anyways guys. If you found this tutorial helpful or useful I guess that's the same thing if you found it good or enjoyed it in any sense uh, please leave a like and subscribe it helps out my channel I been trying to do more and more builds so yeah anyways guys I will see you guys next time have a nice day and bye bye